So welcome back to my channel. So today I tried a recipe using paneer. So you must be used to having paneer butter masala. So this is a recipe is quite similar to it, but the taste is slightly different from it. So do try this once. The ingredients list is given in the description box below. So let's jump right into the video. So I start with marinating the paneer for which I have taken salt, turmeric, red chilli powder, ginger garlic paste and a little bit of coriander powder. I am adding a little bit of oil to it so that it sticks nicely to the paneer. Now I have cut the paneer into diamond shape. You can cut it any way you want and then just coat it with the masala. So I am going to coat everything nicely and then we will keep it aside for a few minutes. Now in a pan I have heated some butter and oil and once it melts I am going to add the whole masalas to this. Let the masalas give out its aroma. After which I am going to add the green chilies, red chilies, ginger, garlic and sliced onion. You can chop the onions finely to reduce the cooking time. Now I am going to let the onions cook and change color slightly. After which I am going to add the tomatoes. Mix it well. And let's add some salt to taste so that the tomato cooks faster. Now it's time to add some cashew nuts to this. Again give it a mix and let's cook it till the tomato softens. Now we'll cool down the mixture, remove the bade elaichi or big cardamom and then make a smooth paste out of it. Now in a, another pan I've added some oil and I'm going to just slightly fry the paneer. Make sure you don't overdo them. Now I put the pan back on fire, added some oil and added the paste which we have prepared into it. I am just cooking it for a few seconds after which I am going to add the rest of the masala powder which is turmeric, red chilli powder, coriander powder, a little bit of cumin powder and then mix well and let it cook. At this point you can add some hot water and adjust the consistency of the gravy. Now once it comes to a boil, I am adding the fried paneer to this. Mix well and add some kasuri methi and garam masala to it. Now bring it to a small boil once again. Now it's time to add a little bit of cream to this. Again mix it well and bring it to a small boil and the curry is ready to be served with naan or roti. So do try this recipe at home and let me know in the comments. I'll see you next time with a new recipe. Until then, bye-bye.